So if you did uh, manage to create some cool color designs and, and set it up in your project, then you should see that your app now is not the plain, boring colors anymore. It's the colors you chose. Now you're not going to see, perhaps very intuitively, what do I edit here to change here? So sometimes you're going to make your changes and then you're going to realize, oh, that color didn't quite work. So we have a couple of things that we can do. We can go back to the theme roller or we can edit more custom code. We'll talk about both, but we'll talk about editing custom code more on Thursday. Let me just confirm something here. I'm going to go to the art screen, PC screen, so everything seems to behave. One thing that I see oftentimes that happens is, uh, okay, so I've got the same thing loaded up in my real device. I'm going to go to art, PC, back to home. Sometimes what happens is the buttons at the top forget the color for some reason. I've seen it on some people's devices that they start off the correct color and then I go to another color and then it forgets and it goes back to plain gray. So if you've got that quirk, we'll be able to fix it when we, when we get more in-depth with, with CSS on Thursday. Here I just want to start a foundation to build upon because I kind of like these colors, but I can still make some changes. Um, like maybe white text will work a little bit better up here, or the sizes of my fonts and all of that stuff. Uh, so we'll be able to make more changes, but this these themes that we designed here, let's say I did this. Let's say I complete, don't do this, but let's say I close the web browser completely. I closed it and I don't have my, I don't have that website open up anymore. So if you go back, if I were to go back to jQuery mobile theme roller, and it was within the 30 days, I could use the link that it gave me. Remember, I saved this link. I saved that link, which is available 30 days from today. I can go back to that link. And it brings my, brings my theme back. Well, what happens on day 31? That, the, that link no longer works. So the other way to get your, your theme back so you can continue to edit it is we've got import. At the top here, import. We can, um, we can import. It says, copy and paste the contents of any uncompressed jQuery mobile theme file to load it in for editing. So this is kind of annoying because the zip file that it gave us, it gave us both, I'm looking inside my zip file, it gave me both a min CSS and a CSS. In the project, I'm using min.css, the minified version, the efficient version. But jQuery mobile Theme Roller cannot work with this code itself. It's been minified. This is always the drawback of minified code. It's hard to work with it afterward. But it did give me the uncompressed one. So I would need to copy the contents of this back into here. So it's very cumbersome, unfortunately. It would be amazing if I can simply go to import and import the zip file back into it. Maybe eventually they will be able to develop that technology. At the moment, what I need to do is uncompress that zip file or extract. I need to extract out of the zip file the uncompressed version of the code. And all of this code I need to copy. It's uncompressed now, and I need to go back to the web browser and paste here import. And then it brought the code back. So again, it's not that user-friendly. Um, I have to import my existing code and then it brings it back. That's why I said save the link, but it's only going to work for 30 days. Make sure you saved your zip file because that's what you're going to reuse 
to resurrect your, your code. The zip file has the uncompressed version. You copy the contents, paste it into the theme roller, and back in business. Let's say then, okay, I actually want um, this green. So I'd have to go through the process again. Download it, theme name, keep it the same as before, my style. If you call this my style v2, now you're going to need to add in Notepad a reference to href equals my style 2 dot min dot css. But if you keep it as my style, as the name that I originally saved it as, and I'll always see that name in the zip file, my style. Then when I finish this new version, download, I get a brand new version of it. And I just need to replace, I need to replace the, the old one. So that zip file has my new color. This one is my old color. I'll just drag it. Oops. The minified version. Drag it over. It's going to say, do you want to replace it? Yes. And now, if I were to run it, it would have the new color. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a process, but um, that's why I recorded it, and it's still not fully defined exactly how I want, because maybe this color is not exactly right, or maybe I want to change the color of this button, but not that button. We'll talk about that on Thursday when we further refine our own our own CSS file. We'll do that next time. So. General questions at this point? Yes? Once the project is done, where do you have your CSS in that file or external? You mean our, our, our own custom CSS? Yeah, rather than in the document itself, should we put it in an external? We should file? put it in the external. We're going to put it in there. We're going to put it in Codica Extra CSS. Codica external CSS. Yes, we should put it in there so that we can reuse it. Because if we edited the CSS of the index file and kept it in the index, then the directory, the dir file, won't have it. But if we save it to the CSS file, then we can attach it to any file, H HTML file, and then it'll, it'll, uh, it'll affect them all. So we're going to end at this point. When we come back on Thursday, we're going to customize our app even more. Then it'll be the end of the course. And then next month, which is just next week, we're going to start part three, where we will add, where we will talk about database stuff, and then other advanced stuff, publish the app, and then we'll put it up online on a real app store. So we'll do a little bit of lab time until 9.30. If you need any help, call me over.